birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Parenthood Nature vs. Nurture Challenge. Jihyo was painting her very first painting, however, it seems like she's a little bit too tired to continue on doing that. And she wanted to talk to her dad, but her dad is actually talking to her brother, so that just didn't happen. Yeah, it's probably better that she just goes to sleep. Let's see, what is her brother up to besides being a stinky boy? He's just, you know, chatting with dad, you know, trying to hang out and be like, Hey, you know, we're friends now, right? We're totally friends. He's enthusing about a new show. I mean, I, I guess you, <laughs> you two do watch a lot of TV, so that makes some kind of sense. Ask about Woohoo. Ask about Woohoo! Oh boy, somebody is getting a little bit ahead of himself. I'm pretty sure you haven't met any girls yet, dude, so just just relax for a while. Or, or we're boys, you know, we don't really know what he's into, but uh, you haven't really met anyone just yet, so just relax. Let's see, what is Junki up to? Of course, he's gonna go watch TV. Nothing surprises me anymore. So, what we're gonna try to do in this episode is try to go into full parent mode. So we have to do a lot of parenting interactions in succession to enter full parent mode, which means that we have to wait until, you know, the kids are all awake so we can take care of... I guess it's only going to be Jisoo, huh? Because we can't exactly parent these kids over here. Oh, two of them are sleeping. Nice, nice. That actually works really well for us. What are you doing? You're talking with mom and having a cookie. Are you the one who's having... Yeah, you're the one who's being a picky eater right now. That explains you eating a cookie instead of a proper meal. What is mom doing, though? Let's see. She's just chatting with you. She's telling you a story, and she's playing dolls. By herself, because clearly she's not playing dolls with you. Why did this kid suddenly get dressed up in the shower? Oh, I don't even know. Whatever. And Junki, you know what, Junki? You probably need to go out and have a nice drink. Let's see what kind of a drink we can find out here, because there's definitely quite some people out here. Oh, there's um the Vampire Brothers, and there's Vampire Lonnie Tillman, Vampire Genji Sasaki, and not Vampire. All right, so let's see if we can maybe come and drink some plaza from this lady, compel for a deep drink. And we have another food bag right here, Harvey Mize. Are you thirsty? You're kind of thirsty. Hey, Isabel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, Isabel's calling us to hang out. We might have accepted that because, you know, we saw Isabel dancing at the nightclub and she was just uh, hanging out by herself. It was actually kind of sad. So getting, you know, some time in with her would be pretty cool, but I guess that's not going to happen. And it looks like Harvey Mize is actually headed towards Lily instead of, oh, Junkie, why are you kind of naked? That's, <laughs> that is not okay, dude. That is, I mean, I guess you're a vampire. You don't really care what you do. What? I feel like I see that guy all the time. I don't know why, but anyway, let's try to have a nice drink over here, and hopefully it's gonna go out. Oh boy, you didn't drink. You oh you um actually never left. Are you not? Are you giving up your vampire ways? Wait, where where are you actually? You're still over here. Ah, so you must be giving up your vampire ways. Seems like you're just not interested in drinking right now, which means that she's probably gonna end up drinking from like Jisoo or somebody else. And let's see, Junki, 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 where are you, kid? You are definitely drinking. From Teresa Cavario. Oh, and look at the other vampires. They're like, excuse me, that was my food bag. Like, no. We're sorry, Genji. We're sorry that you don't have any energy, but that's not my fault, okay? That's your fault. Stop working these weird jobs that clearly aren't meant for vampires. Like, for some reason, he's still working these weird jobs. He just doesn't care. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. And now, of course, now he's feeling very, very guilty because he does not actually enjoy taking drinks from people without first asking them. And I, I feel bad that we have to keep doing that, but, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to chat here. All right, you know what, Junkie? Do whatever it is that you want to do. We have plenty of other sims to take care of. Why are you awake? Let's see. You're, ah, oh, you're feeling a little bit hungry. And look who's popping in. It's the ghost of your mother. It seems, however, that she's headed right for the computer. Or no, oh, she's headed right for your bed. Well, I guess you're not going back to sleep anytime soon because your mother's in your bed. So I was talking before about moving because clearly the boys are old enough now to have their own rooms. And poor Jihyo and Jisoo have such tiny, tiny bedrooms that, well, may have no space for anything. I mean, we had to just do some kind of weird configuration here to get everything that Jihyo has. Well, for now, everything she has for now, because she might eventually get some more- Oh, what, what's going on over here? I don't even- Were you two sleeping together again? Were you sleeping to? Oh, man, they probably were, because- they always end up doing that. Let's just talk about dreams. Apparently, they want to have a chat together. Or now she wants to go ahead and haunt stuff. I mean, you know what? Whatever. We do whatever it is that you want to do. Help fix bad relationship. Does she actually have... Why does she have a bad relationship with somebody? She She's a ghost. 
Try to cheer up. Yeah, let's try to <laughs> let's try to cheer up a ghost. I I know you're dead and everything, but I'm, I promise it gets better. <laughs> oh boy! All right, he wants to go ahead and read the board. Well, you know what? Instead of doing that kind of thing, we're gonna go ahead and wake up Jisoo. That way we can try to get into full parent mode. So let's see what we can do about this, because right now he's a teenager, so. <laughs> The heck? <laughs> that, wow, that was surprising. Anyway, he's a teenager, so our interactions with him are kind of limited. Oh, he's not happy right now. None of these guys are happy, and Steven's just like, hey, what's going on? Oh, right, stuff is happening. Well, let me go hide back out in the room, because that's all he ever does. All right, so let's go ahead and do some parenting. Let's ask about his phase, even though that's... Does that count? I don't even know that, that counts. Let's see. We can influence him to do something else. Let's help him with his needs. Let's uh, have a satisfying chat. Sure. We can even make a nice, fun face. I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's going to do anything, but if it does, great. If not, then, well, we tried. Encourage holding bladder. Did I just read that right? Why? Ask to clean himself off. Tell to eat something. I mean, if he's hungry, I guess. And that's apparently all that we can do right now. So let's go ahead and get started on maybe trying to parent this kid. Because, I mean, we tried when he was younger, I, I guess, and it didn't work. And we also tried when Jiho was a teenager. And again, that didn't work. So maybe, you know, a little more effort is all that we need here. Let's give it a try, though. Let's see if we can maybe influence him to do things as well. Because clearly, we need to do a lot of parenting. Influence to pee. No, influence to kill building. Yes, good. Influence, let's see, to practice speaking. At, what, what happened to everything? Game, what, what, oh, he's been parented too recently, so we apparently can't do that much parenting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, how do we do this then? Uh, let's hug lovingly. Maybe it's going to be the ones that have, you know, the little parenting icon next to it, because that might help us. We just told him to go do something, and now we're going to wait, discuss stress mood, yeah. This is a little bit difficult to do, but hopefully we can figure it out. Where is he going? Let's see. He's going to go ahead and... Oh, he's actually going to go and practice speech. Okay, kid. You know what? Just go and be talked to by your dad and you'll be fine, okay? You're going to be totally fine. Let's see if we can maybe tell him to do or talk to him about anything else specifically because that would be great. We already are going to hug him lovingly. Let's see. We can probably... No, we can discuss stress mood, hug lovingly. We... Uh you know what? There's really not much we can do. I mean, we're trying to be a parent to him. I guess maybe we need more kids. <laughs> Weird as it might seem, we might need more kids. I mean, we can, you know, influence him to go do something else. Sure. You know what? Let's, uh, after we do that, let's just influence him to play some computer games because I'm sure he needs a little bit of fun, doesn't he? Yes, he does. All right. So after we're done with him, maybe if we're lucky, we can parent these kids somehow. Let's see, put to bed, influence to, oh, you know what, we can help him with his needs, so we can have a satisfying chat and make a fun face. This works, this definitely works, and hopefully this will help us with everything that we need here. Let's also give him a second wind and basically do the same thing with every other kid, <laughs> just so we can see if this will actually work. I don't know, you know, I've never actually seen full parent mode go into effect, but if we can do it, then it's going to be well worth it. All right, so we have to still bother Andrew and Daniel, so hopefully that's going to work out well for us. Let's see. Daniel is just hanging out in the restroom for some reason. That makes no sense. Oh, and now his brother had to go use the toilet, so he just got kicked out. Nice. And Lil oh, Lily works today. Okay, fair enough. We are waiting for one of the kids to come over here so we can make a fun face, and we apparently already talked with him. Andrew, so nice of you to stop by. We need to help you with your needs. Let's have a satisfying chat with you and not friendly stuff. No, no, no. And wait, that, <laughs> that sounded a little bit creepy. I apologize. And give a second win. And last kid, where the heck did he go? He's in the kitchen. All right, we're going to find you. We're going to find you and we're going to talk to you. We can also discuss better e eating habits because clearly he's being too much of a picky eater that even Junki realizes it. So we have to talk to him about that. Let's see. Give a second win. And yeah, we'll also just uh, talk to him as soon as we can. Junki, come on. You can. Yes. We have gone into full parent mode. Look at him. He's all shiny, sparkly, more than a vampire usually is. And now he has earned the trait of role model. He's continuing to parent, though. Let's pause it right here to see sparkly <laughs> Junki. Is he getting a little tubby? I don't know. Being a parent isn't easy. It has its moments. Happy, sad, enraging, messy. But ultimately fulfilling, Junki has achieved his dream of becoming a super parent. So he's earned the trait of role model. He can now build character values fast for nearby toddlers, children, or teens. Nice, nice. Hmm. I wonder if we should do this, because we clearly don't have kids, but I mean, we have kids. You know what I mean? Like, I guess they're kind of our kids in a way. Oh, jeez. 
Let's see. I mean, we can do either one of them. Doesn't really matter. Sure. Let's try this one. Read to a child for two total hours and socialize with your child. I guess that means talking with what's his face. Jisoo, where are you? Where? Jisoo? You're using, all oh, right, we did tell you to go use the computer. All right, fair enough. You do what it is that you want to do. I guess Junkie's going to have a little bit of time off. You know, he's feeling like a super parent right now. He can go ahead and enjoy that. <laughs> Apparently watching TV, because that's his favorite activity of all time. <laughs> Just like Gio has done in the past, I, I think it's probably fair to give Jisoo a chance to go and socialize, meet new friends, since when he goes to school, he's very limited in t as to what he can do. So let's go ahead and hang out somewhere, and hopefully we'll make friends. Maybe we can meet a special someone, even though it didn't really work out for GC because Vincent was evil, and he just did not like us enough. I know that doesn't make him evil, but... We tried over and over and over, and no matter what, even though I guess she didn't outright tell him that she liked him, so that was partly her fault, but still, just nothing ever came of that. Well, that's okay now. She's a young adult, and she has very many options on the table, so you know what? It's never too late to find love. Why is it taking 5,000 years to actually go out? Like, are, is it because you're eating? Is it because you're talking with this kid? Like, what? <laughs> Game, come on now. You're, it seems like every time, every single episode of this game just breaks. Alright, so apparently we're supposed to cut to the next scene with the magic of editing. And we're here at the place where there are apparently a lot of teens. Hello, Felipe Mixon. You're a teenager, aren't ya? Well, uh, you're a teenager who's missing feet. Oh, never mind. They're uh, buried in the sidewalk. That's totally normal. Sure, let's go ahead and have a nice, friendly introduction, even though it's probably going to make poor Jisoo a little bit stressed because he doesn't like meeting new people. But you know what? We have to do it at some point, so he won't be so lonely throughout life. Shingo Sasaki. Let's introduce ourselves to you, sir, as well. And let's see, is there anybody inside besides the usual young? Because he's always everywhere. And, of course, we have a bartender right over there. We have Lonnie Tillman, as expected. I think that's Lonnie Tillman. Oh, gosh. And Gio's off to work. Oh, I didn't realize that she was going to work. I never actually got the call for it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. All right, so it looks like he's making some two friends. Is that what we're going to get? Is this guy a teenager? It looks like he's not a teenager, so, I mean, he's a young adult. I mean, that's that's fair enough. He definitely does not look like a teenager. Let's see, is there anybody else around here who we can try to be friend? Because two people, that's it. I'm pretty sure they're part of a bowling club, too. Hmm. Let's see if we can maybe whisper out crush. Sure. Let's see if we can maybe try to join their club. Let's see. Form group. Oh, no. I guess we can probably try to friendly ourselves in there. Boast about messing around. Why would you do that? What's the point in that? Okay. What's the point in that? Let's uh, give props. Sure. Why not? Even though we really don't really know this guy much. Show off a selfie because that's apparently what we do. Tease about crush. We barely know this guy. How are you going to tease him about his crush? You don't even know his crush, do you? You're just going to assume that he likes somebody just because you can. Oh, boy. Well, I don't tell you, you guys. This kid is in some other level here. And now he's making fun of him. Great. That's actually what everybody should do when trying to make friends. Just make fun of whoever you're trying to befriend because that's just the way to do it. I'm totally kidding. Oh, and somebody's failing massively at bowling. Oh, that looked like it hurt hard. Felipe is lazy. Oh, maybe we don't want lazy friends. Let's go ahead and tease this guy about his bravery. You know, he did a pretty good job of uh, bowling. <laughs> Not really. But he was brave enough to do it, and that's what matters. Obsessed about video games? Sure, sure. Let's show off his fa the favorite game. Why not? And do not shout forbidden words. That is forbidden for a reason. Let's also get to know Shingo and boast about messing around. I guess we can even flick his nose, because apparently that's something friends do. If that is, then I've been doing friendship <laughs> the wrong way all along. What the heck is happening over here? There we go. All right. Shingo, I am so sorry that we're going to have to flick your nose soon, but apparently that's what friends do, so we have to be proper friends. Yeah, these kids are a little bit awkward. Let's see, can we actually <laughs> flick your nose? Rave about growing up. Does anybody do that? Do people actually rave about growing up? Huh. Well, I mean, if they do, uh, interesting, sure. Let's see, is anybody else coming over here? We have somebody else over here, Genji Sasa- huh? A Genji Sasaki teenager, sure, and a Seiji Sasaki. Are they like twins or brothers or something? Because they both have the same last name. I know that usually when people have the same last name, sometimes they're, you know, not actually related, but still, like, they showed up at the same time and 
what are the odds? Just, what are the, oh, everybody's bad at bowling, apparently. <laughs> well, great. And I like how all the ones who showed up here are actually guys. Because apparently it's guys' night out, huh? Oh, look at that. It's a lady, except she's an adult, so that's not appropriate at all. Devin! Hey, it's been a long time since we've seen Devin. All right, so apparently we decided that this guy's going to be our best friend. Because, I mean, we were pretty cool with each other. And he's an art lover. I mean, that works. Let's uh, whisper about Crush, because apparently we still have one. Rave about growing up, even though we already did that. And this poor kid actually has to use the toilet so i feel sorry for him but we've been making him do a lot of things without actually going to take care of his needs my bad it appears that a new group of bowlers is showing up so let's see you are genji T tanaka really what's up with all the genjis oh well let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to him as well and oh it looks like we have someone else let's see you are adrina huang Sure, friendly introduction over there, and oh, it looks like we're actually talking with our best friend right now, so that works. I mean, you know what, we're trying to get to know him super well, and we only know that he's an art lover. We should be able to soon find out what else he is, right? Oh, look at this. There is, um, Ava, oh, she actually aged up. She is a young adult. Oh, no, I was thinking, you know, we might pursue a relationship over there, but that's clearly not going to happen, so my bad there, <laughs> my bad. Well, I mean, you know, all is good and well here. We are definitely making friends, but what's the use of making friends if we don't have a nice time out with them? We could always do some bowling, but I mean, really, really. It takes way too much time for that. So let's go ahead and maybe invite them out for a nice meal. Let's see if we can maybe just, uh, play a social event. Hmm. Hmm. Can we have some kind of dinner? Oh, wait, who is that? There's another friend out here. We, ooh, we can go to the romance festival with them. All right, hold on. We have to introduce ourselves to this new guy who just showed up before we leave because I want to just try to meet everybody. And hey, look at that. Lily actually got promoted. It's been a long time, but she got promoted. So over here, we have Naoki Fujita. All right, that, uh, welcome, Naoki. And that's it. That's really, there's just mostly guys. Well, I mean, that's okay. That happens sometimes. Oh, look at that. Somebody new. Akito Meda. Akito Meda. Man, everybody's like, is this wrong to say? But everybody's Asian. Uh, wow. Okay. I mean, this is apparently a very, I guess, you know what? There are different places like that that attract more of one ethnicity than another. So this place is definitely that kind of location. But, uh, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. All right, so we are going to go to the romance festival as soon as we introduce ourselves to these other guys here so we can actually invite them to go with us so we can maybe go ahead and, you know, make better friends with them because that would be pretty cool, right? So let's see. Did we introduce ourselves to you? Yes, we did. Perfect. So we are going to go ahead and head off to the romance festival. Let's see. Travel. And can we actually invite people here? All right, so Naoki, Audrina, Fujita, Fujita. Hmm. Hmm. Vincent Humphreys, I'm not so sure if you're a teen, but whatever. One, two, let's see, who else? Genji, apparently we know this guy, apparently he was here. I don't remember meeting him, but sure, we'll invite him as well. And is there anybody else that's missing? I don't, I mean, I, obviously there's people missing because we met more than just this. But whatever, we'll just invite these guys and it should be okay. Alright, so off to the romance festival we go, go to have a nice, apparently romantic time with friends, even though that sounds... Extra creepy and not quite proper, but you know what? It is what it is. You don't have to be in a romantic relationship to go and hang out at the romance festival. You can go ahead and just enjoy the romance and maybe even find romance at the romance festival because that's what it's for, I guess. It's there to celebrate romance, and if you make romance at the romance festival, then, well, it's going to be extra special and extra romantic. And, oh boy, is anybody here a vampire? Because <laughs> if so, we are going to... Am I seeing this right? Is this like... Isabel? Jackson Shin? Jackson Shin? Man, it's been a long time since we've seen Jackson Shin. Um, Overachievers Club Gathering has started. This is not okay because they're going to go on fire. So let's see. Lily, disband. Disband quickly. <laughs> disband quickly before the rest of them show up here and actually <laughs> light up in flames. That would not be cool. All right, so who here is our friends? Let's see. You guys seem to be our friends, right? Yes, you all are. Good. Let's see who else is over here because, you know, we would like to meet more people if possible. Although I'm sure this kid is just like, please please these there's enough people I, I don't need any more friends like okay okay that's understandable but you know what more friends 
is is just good company okay all right so let's see we want to go ahead and talk i know we already know him enough he's like our best friend at this point we're gonna go ahead and talk with genji oh my gosh look at this guy he's like super well dressed he almost looks like a supermodel oh i uh, you know if we don't look at the shorts i guess let's go ahead and talk with him as well let's see you know he might be super successful in the future he might actually become a supermodel so let's go ahead and get to know him and hopefully he'll be you know someone we can become friends with whine about unfair life no apparently let's whisper about our non-existent crush as usual because that's our favorite thing to do in the world and hopefully all of these guys will have a nice time here is everybody gonna actually dress up for this of course not <laughs> he's just gonna go ahead and go out jogging oh man isabel what is the outfit like why why are you and jackson shin dressed so so poorly you two should be going home like you guys should not be here at all okay all right so let's see where did we go oh Oh, I was like, there's a girl in this group? Yeah, of course there's a girl in this group. We did invite her. Where are you, kid? You're still hanging out over here, and you're talking with this guy. This guy is Genji, Tanaka, and Naoki. Okay, Genji and Naoki are going to be our best friends, right? Or did I say that the other guys have? <laughs> Whatever. We're going to have some best friends. It's going to be pretty great, you guys. <laughs> we can throw petals, yes. Because that's the most annoying thing in the world. Joke about getting together. I mean, he is a genius, so that would, I would not be opposed to that at all. Let's see. And you, sir, you are a what? Do we know you at all? We don't know. Oh, we don't know your trait. All right. Well, one of your traits. Let's try to get to know you and see if we can figure you out. Because I would like to know if you also have a good trait. Because, you know, I would like to get into relationships with people who have favorable traits rather than unfavorable traits. Like, lazy, not so good. Okay, so Genji here is also an art lover like the other kid. Okay. <laughs> you see people go in in regular outfits into this building over here and then pop out with really ugly outfits. Like, oh, what is that about? Anyway, oh, Genji is an art lover and a music lover. Very, very creative guy. Probably not for us, though. Probably not. I mean, you know, we can always become friends. Describe Flirty Dream. Sure, let's try to flirt with him. He's probably going to, like, be like, oh, I don't think so. But if it, if it works, hey, <laughs> who are we to judge, okay? Who are we to judge? So let's see. He's, oh, he's buying into it. He's like, oh, yeah, well, I'll go for that. Okay, sure. So let's uh, compliment his appearance as well because he's into it, you guys. He is so into it. Although right now it looks more like we're um, group flirting, but whatever. It's working. So let's uh, show off self even though it's not really ro particularly romantic, but whatever. And let's exchange numbers because, I mean, this guy was totally feeling us, so why not? Sure, sure. Let's see. Can we maybe... Hmm. Mention flirty festival vibe. Is that? Yes, that is romantic. Good. Yeah, we are definitely starting some kind of romantic relationship with this guy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Did not expect this to work at all, but it somehow has. So let's just not question it, okay? Let's just not question it and accept that, that it is what it is. We can even reveal our crush on him right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be a first love, or is this just going to be like, oh, yeah, I guess I have a crush on you, and then he just forgets about it? Hmm. I guess, in regards to that, only time will tell. Before we head home, I think it would be fun to check our uh, romantic destiny. So let's go ahead and ask the romantic guru about that. And let's see, can we request her wisdom as well? See if maybe, you know, she can tell us something about love and... Kelly Archuleta. I mean, that's all. <laughs> tell us about Kelly Archuleta. Why is our sister calling us about curfew? Well, hopefully this romance guru talks fast enough so we won't miss curfew because, you know, we're trying to be a pretty good kid over here. I mean, we found our first crush, potentially, and things seem to be going pretty well. I mean, his grades aren't completely stellar, but he's getting there, okay? He's working on his skills so he can get there, and he hasn't really done his homework. Oh, so uh, that first crush, not gonna go so well. All right, well, I guess that's a perfect sign to actually leave. Let's just go straight home and not know. All of you guys are staying back here. We're not taking any of you guys with us. I'm sorry, I, I would have taken, you know, our three friends home, but after that, probably not gonna be worth it. All right, so let's just go right back home and see how everybody's doing, and hopefully we'll be inside by curfew, because otherwise we're gonna start losing some responsibility, and that's never quite good. Ah, oh, it's been such an eventful day, you guys. We've been meeting so many people, just hanging out. And honestly, I mean, if it weren't for the fact that that was a teen hangout, he probably would have never talked to any be anybody, excuse me. Reason being that he's just such a lone wolf that he can't see himself usually reaching out to other people. So that was 
That was actually really brave of him to do that. So we are definitely here for curfew. Let's go ahead and actually put him right to bed. Because this poor guy, we kept him out for the whole day and he didn't get any rest. Let's see what these kids are up to. I see somebody actually left their homework on the table. So whose homework? On? Oh, it's yours. Actually, there's... Oh, no. I thought there was multiple homework on the table. All right. So well, let's give you your, back your homework so you can do it whenever you need to. And everybody else has their homework. It looks like they do... Oh, right. You still have your uh, food picture. Where did we put the other one? I... <laughs> I honestly cannot remember. It's right there. All right. Can we move this one like up so we can put this one as well here? There we go. Uh-huh. And we want to add a frame to it. And beautiful. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. They're just... It looks so weird, but kind of delicious in a weird way. All right. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. He still has a... Oh, he has a rotten piece of cheesecake in his inventory. Don't know whatever happened with that, but sure. Okay. Let's see what everybody's up to right now. Looks like Steven is chatting with Dennis right now, and Mom has joined the conversation. Nice. Jihyo is playing on the computer with Andrew. That's actually really cool. Junki is, of course, watching TV. Uh, watching children's TV, of all things. Hmm. We know what Mom is doing. We know what Dennis is doing. Andrew, we know what Andrew's doing. Where's Daniel? Daniel is standing out in the middle of the hallway doing absolutely nothing. All right, Daniel, what is that you need? You need to do some pictures while inspired. You're not really inspired right now, but maybe, you know what? Maybe you can do something like this. Go ahead and play doctor because I've not actually, have we played with this thing at all? I don't think we have, so let's see what he does. Ah, oh, he's gaining empathy. Yeah, you know what? You could probably do with a little bit of empathy because not very many kids here in this family have it, okay? At least I don't think they do. Let's see. Not you. Definitely not you. And definitely not you. Yeah, you could definitely... We can use a doctor for sure, for sure. So if he grows up to become a doctor, I think that would be pretty cool, especially since he's super smart. That would make some kind of sense. So, you know, if, if we can help him get there, that would be even better. Look at that. He's He's so caring and he's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's working. Oh, look at that. Yes, we are we are training a doctor for the future. <laughs> Making tons of money. Here we go. Oh, I'm kidding. What? <clears throat> anyway, Lily, what are you up to? Now you're watching TV. Meanwhile, Steven, are you doing work reports? Because usually you're doing other things that you probably shouldn't be doing. Let's make sure that he actually does his work reports. Because right now he's a... He's trolling the forums. Of course he is. Lily, just enjoy your TV. Why are you drinking water? Why? Oh, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand Junkie sometimes. Sometimes he's just like, yeah, I'm a vampire. Clearly with his vamp face. You know what? Let's put that away. It's not okay to have vamp face out while you're at home. You don't want to scare the children, okay? They know you're a vampire, but please just don't try to scare them too, too much. There we go. That's the Junkie that we know and love. And the Junki that is growing to be quite the family man. So in the next episode, we're going to continue on trying to make him the perfect <laughs> parent. So cool. And as for Lily, well, I mean, she's been growing into the parenting shoes, no doubt about that. I mean, she has parenting level, what is it? Parenting level 9. So she's definitely been doing a good job. However, Steven, not so much. He's just about level 5, which is not particularly good since his kids are just about to become teenagers, actually, aren't they? Let's see, they have another, oh, another one day as kids before they actually age up to teenagers. So yeah, either Steven steps it up or he's gonna fall way behind as a parent and be considered probably the worst parent Ever? Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens with Steven and the kids in the next episode. Because that is it for this episode of The Sims 4 Parenthood Nature vs. Nurture Challenge. <laughs> if you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support and to subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.